Hi guys, welcome to Cook Talks. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and follow me on Instagram. Today we are going to make eggless baked cheesecake without cream cheese, without oven, and without a detachable mold. So without wasting a lot of time, let's just quickly begin with our recipe. We'll need 15 to 20 Parleggi biscuits that I've grinded in mixer grinder, and now in goes my one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. I'll stir well and add in about one fourth cup of melted butter. I've used salted butter. If you're not not using salted butter then you can add a pinch of salt in your crust filling it actually enhances the flavor of your crust so your crust should be a little bit hard and also it should be buttery so I need to transfer it into a cake tin so I'll take a cake tin which I have entirely lined with a butter paper that is on the edges as well as the base I'll transfer my mixture into the cake tin and I'll just try to level it up and I'll refrigerate it for about 20 to 30 minutes so that it becomes a little bit hard Till then let's make the cheesecake batter. So for a batter we we'll need about 1 cup of store brought hung curd. It is necessary to use a store brought curd because that will provide your proper texture that is required in your cheesecake. So I'll just try to soften it up and now into this I'm going to add about 3 4th cup of condensed milk which we also call as milk milk. I've used homemade. I'll stir well and make sure that there aren't any lumps formed in my mixture. And now in goes my one third cup of heavy cream. And I'll add one third cup of room temperature milk. I'll give just a quick stir and in goes my half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Stir well because a batter should not have any lump. And just look at the texture of a batter, it's quite creamy. And now after 15 minutes you can see that our crust is a bit hard. So I'll just transfer my cheesecake batter into this tin. I'll preheat a kadai by adding salt and place a stand over it and also a plate into which I'm going to add about half a cup of water for a water bath and I'll cover it for about 10 to 15 minutes so that it just get preheated. So after 10 minutes you can see that the water has literally started boiling and it has started releasing a little bit of warm air so that's the right point of time where you'll place the cake tin into the kadai and you'll just let it bake for about 40 minutes on medium flame so after 40 minutes let your cake rest at room temperature for about 1 hour and then you can place it in the refrigerator for about 8 hours or overnight so that your cake becomes a little bit stiff and then you can just remove it from the cake tin so give this recipe a try and don't forget to tag me on instagram and don't forget to click the bell icon for more such videos